I am in the New King James Version of the Bible, and I am in James this morning. James chapter 2, excuse me, James chapter 1, verses 2 through 8. Profiting from Trials My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double-minded man, unstable in all his ways. Whew, okay. So what is he trying to tell us here? Um, when you're going through something, have patience. That is not easy. It's not easy to do. Because we want to resolve issues. We don't want to we don't want to go through trials and tribulations. But he's telling us here that we should have patience and let the work be made perfect in our patience. So when we're when we're quiet, when we're still, when we're um let we, we let the Lord have his way, then the work that he's doing will be made perfect while we're waiting. Okay. If you lack wisdom, ask God for it and he won't chastise you for it. In fact, he gives it to you liberally because he doesn't want us walking around here looking crazy because we don't have anything in here. He wants us to be wise. You ever have um, certain experiences and you learn things the hard way? He doesn't want us to learn things the hard way. So let's ask him for wisdom. So wisdom will be imparted upon us and it will be in our hearts, our minds, our, our, our spirits to either do something or not do something that can, that can help us or, and not hurt us, okay? Um, when you ask him for wisdom, you have to believe that he'll deliver on his promise. You can't have any doubt. If you doubt, you ain't going to get it. Don't doubt. Ask him for wisdom, believe, and you shall receive. Don't be double-minded in your thinking. Oh, God, I believe you, but. Mm-mm. Leave that but somewhere else. Wisdom is a gift. It's a gift from God. Ask him for it. He wants us to ask him for it. And he wants us to be patient. Not easy, but that's what he's asking us to do. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye-bye.